It's a once in a lifetime journey. It's the journey of planet Venus across the sun. And of course, it's a once in a life opportunity for all of us to actually catch a glimpse of it. And if you have to, it is today. It's a celestial spectacle and it's unfolding in the sky right now. And it's a really once in a lifetime chance, as we said, as we watch planet Venus transit over the sun from about 3.30 this morning. Venus has started traveling across the face of the sun and you can actually see the planet's path. Now, this dance of the planets is so rare that if you don't watch it today, you probably won't for about 105 years until 2117. Now, it's a unique alignment of the Sun, Venus and Earth that makes this some magic happen. But don't watch the Sun directly, you'll get blinded. So use a pinhole camera or watch NDTV as we go across uh, to various uh, uh, places and you can catch the spectacle. Well, of course, is this science? Yes, it is science. So we have a science editor in the studio joining us, uh, Palav Bagla. Good morning. Uh, uh, you must be really excited about what you are seeing. Oh, very excited. I will never probably see it in my lifetime. I saw it in 2004. This is the second time one is watching. I have not been able to see it today. The skies are cloudy. It, it's, it's, it's not been favorable for me here in Delhi. But people who have seen it, have really liked the spectacle. Mm -hmm. To see a small black dot going across the sun is a very rare event. It mm -hmm. happens only because of planets Mercury and Venus. Yeah. And this particular event is not going to happen in our lifetimes. 105 years, there's no way I'm going to be living that long. 155 years is not I'm going to be living for. But I'll go out and watch it but with special glasses, hmm. special filters. Don't watch the event directly with your naked eyes. You can get blinded. The sun is very bright. The sun is a life giver, but sun can be very, very, very torturous. Hmm. So watch it live on television. Watch it live on internet as streaming from many, yeah. many channels. But don't watch it live. Go to an organized event like the Nehru Planetarium or at other places. Watch it there. But do watch it. It's yeah. a very, very rare event. Yeah. It's, it, there is also science in this. W what is the science behind it? See, the science is very simple. The planets align and they, the planet Venus casts a shadow hmm. which falls on Earth. Using that, for the first time, astronomers calculated what is the distance between the Earth and the Sun. Okay. You knew, people knew of distances on Earth, but any distance beyond the Earth was unfathomable. So it was a transit of a Venus at one of them in the last six times which it has happened in history, in telescopic history, that astronomers calculated that distance and figured out how far is the sun from the Earth. Mm -hmm. Today, again, astronomers are doing that. Today, you have much better precision equipments, so the accuracy will be higher. Mm -hmm. And this is being attempted. People are attempting to learn about the atmosphere of the Venus. Okay, so you mean it's the a planet of love. Yeah. There's curiosity. Venus is a planet of love, but it's, it's a hellish planet. It's mm -hmm. very hot. The atmosphere is dense. There is no life on it. There is no possibility of life as we know it to exist on Venus. But still, it is the planet of love and beauty. So that planet of love and beauty is passing over that life giver, the sun. Yeah. So it's a, it's a wonderful moment in celestial history and people should watch it. And the world is watching it. Right. It's been but I don't across. agree with you with you saying that you know it's a lonely planet. It's a uh, you know they say all women are from Venus. So how did it come about that Venus is the planet of beauty? Oh, it is a planet of beauty because if you see the sky, the third most brightest object in the sky hmm. after the sun and the moon is the Venus, and it's a very beautiful planet to look at when you look into the sky. And it's also visible sometimes during the day, if you know exactly yes. where to look from and if you know exactly go to a dark place or, or not places which are not so lighted. You can see it. Even early mornings and late evenings you can see. It was named after the goddess of love and beauty, the Greek goddess of love mm. and beauty, Venus. So they say women are from Venus and it's a beautiful planet. But living on it, God forbid, I don't think anybody should probably attempt right. that. Uh, also, you know, this entire thing means a lot for children because they're the ones learning about science, planet, 
Uh, so the, they are actually out there. Most of the planetarians' uh, parents have come along with them. So what do what are experts telling children, or rather, how should they be educated? Well, go out and see it. That is the beauty. Hmm. It's a celestial spectacle. Don't look to do science. Astronomers, scientists from NASA, they are the people who will be doing the science. Watch it. Hmm. it you never see it again. In the next two and a half hours, this celestial spectacle will end. Watch it on television. Enjoy it. If you have the special glasses, go out and see it. Right. Otherwise, go to an organized place where you can see it. See and it. this is really a chance for children to be educated about what is astronomy and also to remove the blind faith which people have in yeah. astrology and the kind of soothsayer predictions which happen around this event that is not that's not going to happen it's a beauty it's science it's a celestial event yeah. watch it okay so palap sir thank you very much for joining us uh, well you see how excited he is uh, it's, it brings out the child in all of us. So do make sure you do watch it, but don't watch it with the naked eye. You can head to the planetariums across the cities and they're organizing it. I mean, if you still haven't got what we said, we've got these shots for you. Just look, it's a black spot. It's called the beauty. Do you have the Indie TV Profit app? All the markets, all the news and your own homemade, ready-made portfolio available there for you. We will right now answer what you should sell, what you should buy when markets are down. Download at IndieTVProfit.com slash apps. Get the best app from the channel you trust.